everyone today i'm bringing you the bf109 e-guide entry level uh tutorial whatever uh, i plan to do this for other bf109s and later 190s and so on and so forth but uh, check the description if you use manual engine controls i included the top speed at certain altitudes what armaments and belts you should use in addition uh, propeller pitch when to use it um, and uh, if you don't use manual engine controls don't worry about it it's not that big of a deal guys you could still do everything in this video um, without it so it's not that big of a deal um, and so I hope you guys like this video I've concluded that I will be uh, releasing a minimum of one video a week starting this Friday and it'll be I'll be releasing a video every Friday uh, every week so I hope you enjoy the video guys um, and uh, leave a comment or anything and uh, thank you so first things first all BF 109s at this tier are pretty much dominant when it comes to out climbing the enemy um, whether it be a P-40, Ishak, Yak-1, LA-5 um, Hurricane the only things uh, the only planes at this tier that will give you trouble in terms of altitude and climbing would probably be the Spitfire um, that's probably the most difficult opponent. Uh, the BF-109 E1 is armed with four uh, MG-17s, uh, and I'm not a big fan of machine guns, honestly. Uh, they take too much gun time and deflection shots. They don't do enough damage, and this uh, this also includes 50 calis. That's why I'm not really a big fan of American planes. But apart from that, it just takes a large amount of gun time, unless they're like stalling like this poor buffalo and so it, it kind of gets very difficult to kill an enemy especially if you're in a sustained fight where everyone's turning and rolling it just it takes too much time so the bf 9 e1 is probably you know it's a good plane regardless it's just its armament in my opinion is lacking So the BF-109 E3 is the very first BF-109 to actually utilize a cannon armament. This makes it easier for you to shoot down planes and deflection shots and it takes much less time to actually bring down the enemy. And so with that said, the BF-109, all BF-109s at this tier, all emails, they all basically fly the same. Just different armament, and the E4 and E7 have a different engine. I'll talk about that later. But with that said, all the BF-109s in this uh, this tier are faster than most planes. They also accelerate better, and they also climb better, as I have said. With that, what that means is kind of like you can pull away from the enemy, use your sp your uh, your climb uh, your climbing speed and you want to gain separation and go up. The BF-409 at this tier is where you want a vertical fight for the most part. You don't want to turn, I mean you can, that is an option, but you actually for the most part want to fight in the vertical. That is what the BF-409 at this tier is very good at. Now don't try doing this at later tiers. This, that, this, that, will, not, that will not end well. Uh, but at this tier it is okay to do that. It's easier um, for you to vertical fight because all the enemies you are fighting at this tier have very poor performing engines, they have very poor armaments, and a lot of factors are playing into it. And so, at, this is why I think the BF-109 E3 is, or the BF-109 emails are the best at this tier. It's because not many planes can stand up to them because simply you can just go up into the vertical if they try following you, they don't have the engine power, they don't have, you know, whatever to actually follow you, in, follow you up to, unless, of course, they have an energy advantage. But the BF-109, even at a disadvantage, it accelerates so well, it accelerates um, so well enough that if you get into a situation that you are in trouble, you can simply d either dive away if you have altitude or fly straight because you are faster than most opponents at this um, at this uh, battle rating. Maybe, no, in fact, the only planes that are faster than you are 
the F6F Hellcat, the F4Us, and the Spitfire. Of course, I might be missing a plane here and there, but those are the planes that uh, the general will catch you at lower altitudes. But if you're at the higher altitudes, like the 2,000, 3,000 mark, you'll be, you'll, you'll be just fine. I mean, this plane is just incredible. It's, in fact, probably one of my you know favorite BF-109s. Uh, although I do say that the G6 and K4 are my favorite, but this this is probably the most enjoyable BF-409s to fly since they're just so easy to fly, and they're very relaxing to do so. The last two BF-409 emails uh, in War Thunder are the E4 and E7. They don't really differ from one another apart from carrying a bomb, which the E7 can. Uh, the E4 and E7 compared to the E3, however, are very different when it comes to the armament and engine. These changes include adding Mangashas rounds to the 20mm cannons and the BF-409 getting an increase in horsepower, or PS, um, on the engine, which means that the engine, uh, or the plane, the E4 and E7, now is faster, uh, Climbs better, accelerates better, basically everything across the board. So, with that said, you can now fight in the vertical easier with an E4 and E7. You can accelerate uh, away from the enemy quicker, and everything I've taught you in this video, it, the E4 does it the best. Um, so, with that said, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, expect a, next, uh, a video next week on Friday. Uh, I will be streaming again on Wednesday next week, uh, same time. I didn't stream uh, at the same time la this week because I wasn't feeling well. I did stream later that night, so if you missed it, sorry, but it will be on schedule next time. Uh, so with that said, I hope you guys liked the video, and I'll see you guys around.